All right, you guys ready for some fun tonight? We have got all kinds of stuff we're going to break this evening. And as always, there is a little bit of information that I like to go over before we get started. So I'm going to go ahead and get that up on the screen and we'll take a look at it. So the first thing there talks about feedback, and that's just simply because I get asked that question a lot. And it works like this. Anytime you leave positive feedback for me, you are instantly going to get the same in return. So yeah, the magic of automation means we can do all kinds of things without waiting. I like it. And of course, the second thing there, uh, far more important, is to say thank you. I always appreciate you being here, bidding, breaking, chatting, and hanging out with me while we do these breaks at night. We are going to take a look next at what is coming up in the days ahead. So tomorrow night actually ends up being an off night. I know my whole week is just messed up. I had some family in last week and it messed up my listing schedule, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, we're taking tomorrow night off. I hadn't really planned on it, but we are. And there aren't any new releases tomorrow anyway, so it works out fine. Thursday, however, on Thanksgiving, we will do a little breaking. We'll do a case, a three box case of Leaf Autograph full size football helmets and a six box half case of Heritage High Number Baseball. On Friday, we have a new release. It's Absolute Basketball. We'll break a 10 box case of that on release day. On Saturday, we're going to break Flawless Baseball by the half case. That's a loose box from a shared case. And then we will break a full case of Immaculate Football on Saturday night as well. On Sunday, we are going to open an, a half case of Leaf Autograph Mini Helmets. We're going to open a half case of Gold Label Baseball. That's also loose boxes from a shared case. And then we will open Topps Dynasty Baseball. We're going to open a five box case quantity, but there are five loose boxes uh, that are in a case quantity. Just to give you a general idea there. Here's what you need to know about tonight. We've got one free shipping break. That's our football jersey break. And if you get pulled in that break, you can expect your jersey to go out uh, sometime between now and Tuesday, December the 3rd, which, believe it or not, is a week from today. We're already heading into December. And oftentimes it will go sooner, but it should not be any later than that. If you get skunked in the jersey break and your team does not pull a jersey... Your consolation card or cards would typically be held until your next package ships. If, however, you would like to have it sent sooner, all you need to do is send me a message on eBay and let me know, and I can put it in a plain white envelope, put a stamp on it, and send it your way. Our paid shipping breaks tonight should be out the door. I'm anticipating Saturday. As always, if I can get something out sooner than a date listed, I will gladly do so. And if you get skunked in one of the paid shipping breaks, meaning you do not pull a card of any sort, base or otherwise, your Constellation card or cards will ship out with the rest of the breaks since they are paid shipping breaks. And that's Leaf Best of Baseball, Playbook Football, and Triple Threads Baseball. So that's what we are looking at uh, there in the days ahead. Please remember that there is no mail service on Thursday for the holiday. And, uh, yeah, you know, so that'll slow things down for us a little bit. Our first break up tonight is a five box half case. What did I manage to do there? Not of 20. Yeah, well, let's fix that. <laughs> it's a half case of 2019 Leaf Autograph football jerseys, and this is break number three. Everything we're opening tonight ended tonight on eBay, which is Tuesday night, the 26th of November. Team names are on the left-hand side, winning bidders across from each team on the opposite side. And, of course, we had one team in here that didn't sell. That's the Bengals. So that means I retain that team since it got no bids. So if anything were to come out for the Bengals, it would hang out here with me. Otherwise, everything else uh, will go out the door to one of you. Now, this is the start of a new case of jerseys, so here's what that's going to entail. I'm going to take all of the jerseys out, number them on the end, and then I'll be using random.org to figure out which ones we open tonight and which ones we open in the next break. I'm going to do one other little thing here, which is tweak our focus a tiny bit. 
You will notice that your background goes out of focus. That is on purpose. It's intentional. Uh, please don't let that worry you because we're going to be able to still see our items and our cards uh, up actually even a little bit better than we would otherwise. So don't sweat that stuff. Let me catch up on chat here real quickly and then we'll bust into these jerseys. So Mr. Anderson, hi. Um, Joe, we don't have any unpaid tonight in the jerseys. Uh, we may have some unpaid later. I will double check that when we get to the breaks, but we may have some unpaid stuff. Um, there was a little bit setting out in, I want to say, triple threads. There might have been some, something still setting out in Leaf Best of Baseball too, but I'll double check it and see if it's paid by the time we get to those breaks. And hi, Jay Allen. And Joe says, you got outbid and didn't get anything. <laughs> so sorry to hear that. Greg says, happy Thanksgiving to everybody. And yeah, so all right, Stang Lover. Obsidian is not on the schedule because Obsidian's release date got moved. It does not come out next week. It comes out now in December. They actually announced that last week. I don't remember the specific date it changed to Stang Lover, but they moved it. Because originally it was Obsidian and Absolute on Wednesday. And they took both of those off of Wednesday, kept Absolute on Friday, and then moved Obsidian somewhere into December. But what we will have on Monday, which will be Cyber Monday, we will have the um, Rookies and Stars release. So we'll have new release on Friday with Absolute Basketball, new release on Monday of Rookies and Stars Football. And then as it stands right now, next Wednesday, a week from tomorrow, it's set up to have like six new releases. Now I think some of that will probably move but it looks like Bowman Draft and uh, probably Prism Basketball are most likely going to stay on that date. Some of the other stuff, we're going to have to wait and see how they shake out. But somewhere along those lines. All right, so there's our 10 all numbered up. So now I just got to get us over here. To random so that we can get this bad boy figured out which five we're going to open tonight which five will be in the next break okay so anytime I have ten or more items in a list I just do random one time when we have nine or fewer we do it three times and the third random is the determining factor all right, we are going to open boxes 6, 8, 1, 3, and 10. So 1, 3, 6, 8, and 10. All right, 1, 3, 6, and 8, and 10. Let me get the others out of the way. Give me one second to get them stacked out of the way, and then we'll open what we've got. All right. Good luck, everybody. We've been pulling some pretty good jerseys and helmets lately, so hopefully. Oh, um, Joe. Yeah, there was uh, the Bengals unsold. I did not catch that in time. If you still want to buy the Bengals, that's fine. I don't know what the um, opening bid was, uh, but whatever it was. If you want the Bengals for that, you can have them, Joe. Just let me know. I just now looked over and saw that. And if you don't, because we're already rolling, that's fine too. It's up to you. All right, so we have got a Jim Kelly jersey with a JSA authentication. And looks like we've got all kinds of stats attached to his jersey. But the part you probably care the most about is that signature right there. And then you've got the JSA um, little sticker on there as well. So our first, ha uh, first hit out is the Buffalo Bills. All right, so Joe, you do want the Bengals? All right, man. Let me, um, I'm typing in for you because you might not still have it. Uh, yeah, yeah, I am getting there. 
I am typing in for you my email address. And if you want to just send it on over to PayPal, that's cool. I'm going to update the spreadsheet real quickly. I'll leave you guys sitting because I don't want to uh, navigate away once we've got things out of the case. And I will update this to show that it is you. All right, Joe. So they are now officially, the Bengals are all yours, brother. I don't know why I didn't think about that when you asked me if we had any unpaid teams. Didn't even occur to me about the unsold teams. I was just thinking, I'm paid now. We're all paid up in the jerseys. Let's see where my mind goes. <laughs> Yes, Terry, it was the stat jersey, those custom jerseys. Uh, every once in a while, have something interesting like that on them. Other times, they are literally just the, the name, the number, and the signature. Another nice one here, Jerry Rice for the 49ers. Got some kind of loose thread hanging out there. Looks like off the sea, but I'm not going to mess with it. There is your Jerry Rice autograph. Beckett authentication sticker and a Beckett authentication paper. So right now we are Bills and 49ers with the first two outs. All right, what we got next? We've got, is this Dan Robinson? I don't know who this is. Somebody Robinson. Um, I'm going to have to look this one up because I don't really know who this is. Oh, maybe it's going to tell me. Oh, it was Dave Robinson. <laughs> I, was trying, I was trying to read the signature. I was like, does that say Dan? What does that say? Yeah, there's a label on the thing. And it is Leaf Hologram Authentication Hall of Fame Inscription and your Leaf COA there. And the colors to me... I'm actually not remembering where Dave Robinson goes. The colors to me look like they would either be the Packers or the Eagles. Um, so let's look it up and then I'll know the answer rather than trying to guess, right? That's what I'm thinking. Um, what did I say his name is again? Dave Robinson. Why do I keep wanting to call him Dan? Good grief, it is Dave. Dave Robinson. <laughs> I keep calling him Dan. All right, Dave Robinson. I want to say it's probably Packer colors, but yeah, it's definitely Packer colors. There we go. All happily verified now. So we are Bills, 49ers, and Packers. Three down, two to go. We're on a roll tonight, aren't we? Here comes Joe Theismann out. Got a JSA authentication there. And where's our JSA paper sticker? It's down here at the bottom. Your Joe Theismann signature along with an inscription on it heads to the Redskins. Bills 49ers, Packers, Redskins. You guys are probably like, why do you keep saying the teams over and over? Because honestly, people jump in and out all the time. And whenever they jump in, they'll always say, what have we hit so far? <laughs> I usually don't remember. But maybe through the process of extreme repetition, maybe I will. All right, our last jersey out is Mr. Todd Gurley for the Rams. Beckett paperwork there. And Beckett sticker there. And your Todd Gurley signature there on the bottom. So to recap, we have the Rams and Todd Gurley. It is Joe Theismann for the Redskins. Dave, who I keep calling Dan. Dave Robinson for the Packers. Mr. Jerry Rice. What a nice one coming out for the 49ers. Is there more loose? No, maybe that... You do have some loose, as I pointed out earlier, some kind of loose threads hanging out up there. I'm not going to mess with them, but you may want to cut them off when you get them. And then Jim Kelly for the Bills with a jersey that has a bunch of his stats on it. All right, jersey break complete. Let me get these out of the way. We'll be right back.
All right, we're going to be cranking into a little Leaf Best Baseball coming up next here. <coughs> and I'm going to let you look at some shipping information while I check and see if we're all paid yet or not. <coughs> Hang tight, kids. Uh -huh. All right, right now, yeah, so at the moment, we're only looking at a couple of unpaid teams in Triple Threads Baseball, but we'll wait until we get closer to that break to see if it's been paid or not. So we are good to go for Best of Baseball. And we just went over this a minute ago, but jerseys on the way no later than a week from today probably sooner won't be any later than that and if you got skunked in the jersey break constellation cards typically sent with your next package hit me up and let me know if you want it sent separately otherwise paid shipping breaks tonight should be on the way roughly saturday if you get skunked in one of them meaning you do not pull a card of any sort your constellation card or cards will ship out with the rest of the packages with the rest of the break since it's a paid shipping break Please remember there is no mail service on Thursday because it's Turkey Day. Leaf Best of Baseball. This is case break number three. Ended tonight on eBay, Tuesday night, the 26th. And team names are there on the left-hand side. Winning bidders across from each team on the opposite side. And Leaf Best of Baseball, of course, uh, has a little spot down there for any redemption. That's something they started a couple of years ago with all of their best of stuff, best of baseball, best of football, best of basketball, you know. If we pull a redemption, it is going to be for memorabilia, or it could be for a sealed box of cards, or it could be for a sealed um, pack of cards, if it was off like our scarce pack. At any rate, any redemption that we pull would go to that bidding spot uh, that was for redemptions. So FYI on that. Each one of these boxes will otherwise hold, if it doesn't have a redemption in it, will have one single buyback card in it, and it will also have one Leaf Original card in it. So this is a fairly quick break overall considering there are not a lot of cards in each box. It goes fairly quickly. Stang Lover, you said you have a Theisman autograph listed on eBay. Somebody sent you a $5 offer on it. <laughs> Isn't that so frustrating? I mean, you know, when I used to sell individual items, which I haven't done in years, for the most part but when I did and I put them up as buy it now or best offer I always had to put an automatically decline you know offers below XYZ feature in there because if I didn't it absolutely frustrated the life out of me because you know you could list something for say 500 bucks and somebody would offer you legit like five dollars for it or something just so insulting as to be ridiculous and it used to irritate me so badly and i had to start using that feature to avoid it joe you said theisman insulted dwayne haskins oh i didn't hear about that what did he say what did he say about him oh he was talking about him taking selfies during the game well, you have to admit, that maybe wasn't the best look for him <laughs> when, when there's still a game, you know, a play is to be made and you're trying to win your first game as a rookie quarterback. Maybe shouldn't be off taking selfies with the fans. So, uh, I can see. I mean, I don't know what he said about it. I don't know how harsh he was about it. But I can maybe see where there's a little room for uh, critique there, shall we say. Mr. Anderson, um, it's a couple of teams in Triple Threads. I will let you know if they're still unpaid when we get up to that break. I honestly did not pay any attention to which specifically, to tell you the truth. 
I just flipped over there to see what was unpaid and saw that there were a pair of them sitting there. So we'll, we'll take another look when we get to that one, though. Sang Lover, you need a Tatis autograph for the Padres. You're also looking for Rockies and Phillies. You had to go out and sell in Oregon to pay for tonight's breaks. Dang, man. I'm nothing like putting a little pressure on me there, is it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Here we go. Our first Leaf original card. Now, guys, these will go to their current teams if they are active players because they don't have teams stated on them. It will go to the team they played for the longest if they are a retired player. Nick Madrigal, number to five, is the White Sox. Our first buyback card out. Ooh, it's a good one because that would be Mr. Nolan Ryan. And this is out of a Leaf product, as a matter of fact, out of 2017 Leaf Q which was a really high-end leaf product. It's numbered 16 of 34, card grades to a 9, autograph grades to a 10, and uh, he is in some Astros colors there on that particular card. So Mr. Nolan Ryan for the Houston Astros. Second box. We have got ourselves Juan Soto for the Nationals is our base card. Our hit is Nolan Arenado Rockies out of 2013 Tops Update. It's Nolan's rookie card there, and it is graded to Jim Mint 10. Then we've got Mariano Rivera, number 25 for the Yankees. And our buyback heads to the Cubbies. That's Mr. Chris Bryant, number 25. That is out of Immaculate. And it is a sticker autograph on there, by the by, for those of you who care about that sort of thing. Oh, Joe said the exact tweet from Theisman was, how do you miss the last snap of the game because you're taking selfie selfies that's wrong and unprofessional? Well, he's not entirely wrong about that. It's, you know, not a thing that probably should be happening. Chipper Jones, number to seven, Atlanta Braves. And then we have a Pedro Martinez out of 1992 Bowman. And it grades to a gem mint 10 headed to the Dodgers. Ay, 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 come out of there. Joey Bart, San Francisco Giants. And the Orioles have our buyback card with Cal Ripken Jr., not too shabby. That is numbered to 25, card grades to an 8.5. It is out of 2012 uh, Museum Collection. And the autograph graded to a 10 on it. So a little Cal Ripken headed to the Orioles. Joey Bart again for the Giants. That one's numbered to 20. And Clayton Kershaw for the Dodgers. That's out of five star. It is numbered to 97. Card grades to 8.5. Autograph grades to 10. So Dodgers and a little Kersh. Leaf original card is Ichiro. Number to 25. And um, Ichiro... I believe was longest with the Mariners, right? He was a shorter period of time with the Marlins. I'll double check that, but I think he's I think he's uh, Mariners. Ricky Henderson for the A's out of 1980 tops. I bet you I owned that card originally when it came out. This one grades to a nine. Ricky Henderson and the A's. Oh, yeah, Joe and Greg, you guys like the cow ripkin? That is a good one. 
Mariano Rivera for the Yankees. And our buyback card here, number 215, is Randy Johnson for the Diamondbacks. And this is out of Tops what? Is that gold label? Maybe? I don't know. It's framed. I don't think gold label ever looked like that. I don't know what card set this is out of. But anyway, um, it's good looking. Randy Johnson for the Diamondbacks. There's Chipper Jones again for the Braves. My man Nick Senzel, first Bowman for the Cincinnati Reds. That is out of 2017 Bowman. It grades to a gem mint 10 for Cincy. Last box mojo coming here right now. Headed your way. That is Nolan Gorman, numbered to seven for the Cardinals and an immaculate marks a second Cal Ripken Jr. in the same case. How unpredictable is that? <laughs> it's numbered to 49 for the Orioles, who somehow managed to get two Cal Ripken autographs out of one case of Leaf Best of Baseball. So if you got Baltimore, well, you hit the home run tonight, didn't you? All right, let's recap it. Nolan Gorman, Cardinals. Chipper Jones, Braves, Mariano Rivera, Yankees. Ichiro, I think, played longest for the Mariners. Let's just double-check that real quick so that I can answer it for you. Hang on one second, um, and I will tell you for sure. I mean, I'm just almost certain he was longer Mariners than he ever was Marlins, but we're just going to make certain of it. Uh, come on now. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, uh, definitely Mariners all the way through. That's what I thought. Well, I mean, not all the way through, but Mariners the most seasons. Joey Bart for the San Francisco Giants. Joey Bart for the San Francisco Giants. There's another Chipper Jones for the Braves. And then we have Rivera for the Yankees. Followed by Juan Soto and the Nationals. And Nick Madrigal for the White Sox. All right. Let's do our, our uh, recap of our buybacks. Nick Senzel, Cincinnati Reds, graded to Jim Mint 10. Ricky Henderson, Oakland A, is graded to a 9. Clayton Kershaw, Dodgers, graded to 8.5. Cal Ripken, Orioles graded also to an 8.5. And then you have 1982 Bowman, Pedro Martinez, Jim Mint 10, Dodgers. Nolan Arenado's rookie card to a Jim Mint 10 for the Rockies. Nolan Ryan, numbered to 34 in an Astros uniform there. So headed to, to the Houston Astros, graded to a 9, autograph graded to a 10. All right, we got a handful more of them. Another Cal Ripken Jr. for the Orioles, if you can even believe. A Randy Johnson for the Diamondbacks. And Chris Bryant for the Cubbies. All right, there we go. We have got that one all lined up. Next, we're going to take a look at some playbook. And Greg says he sold a Ripken printing plate today. Nicholas wants to know if we have any unpaid teams in playbook. We do not. The only thing I had the last time I checked are two unpaid teams in um, Triple Threads, which will be coming up after playbook, and I'll double check it then and see if they have been paid or what our situation is. But as it Stood when I last looked, that was the only thing I'm paid. So I know we're all good to go here in playbook. Saturday, that's when Leaf Best of Baseball playbook and triple threads should be out the door and on the way to you. If you get skunked in any of those breaks, meaning you do not hit a base card or anything of any sort, you will still get a package in the mail with consolation card or cards in it that will ship out when the rest of the break goes out. 
The football jersey break, if you got a jersey, it'll be on the way to you no later than Tuesday the 3rd of December, which is a week from today. Might be sooner, won't be later. If you got skunked in the jersey break, you uh, will normally get your consolation card or cards with your next package if you want it sent sooner. You just need to hit me up, send me a message on eBay and let me know. Please remember there is no mail service on Thursday because it's turkey day. This is an eight box inner case of 2019 playbook football. It is break number two. Also ended tonight on eBay, Tuesday night, the 26th of November. Team names are on the left hand side, winning bidders across from each team on the opposite side. Stanglover said you didn't do, oh, Stanglover, you didn't do any good in Leaf Best of Baseball. Oh, I'm sorry, man. That's always a drag, isn't it? I am sorry to hear that. That one's kind of harder to hit, you know, because there's not as many cards in it. But relative to the price paid, you usually do okay if you do hit something in there. So that's always the key, though, isn't it? Oh, you had the Rockies, though? So you got the, you had the rookie card for Nolan Arenado? Maybe, but you don't like it, apparently. <laughs> it sounds like. <laughs> Jay Allen, you're out of here. All right, my friend, we will catch you the next time you need to find the Saints in here. All right, we'll do our best. We will definitely do our best. I'm just going to dump these out that way. I will be struggling to get those out. Otherwise, it's easier to turn the box upside down. Last time we did this one, I am got stuck in the case. I'm counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, we're all there. So there's only one pack per box. The first thing I'm going to do, you got it. I'm going to extract all of our packs. Get all this uh, packaging off the table. Have only our packs left, and then we'll start taking a look at them. There's only four cards in here. And... Uh, each one will be either a memorabilia card or an autograph card. We don't have any base in playbook this year, so all hits coming through. They change this configuration of playbook all the time, like all the, all the time. Oh, and you know what I'm gonna need? that I forgot to carry up here. Uh, the cases for our booklets. Because we are going to pull plenty of booklets. And I had to order in some new cases for them that just came this afternoon in that good timing. They were supposed to show up yesterday and they didn't. So I'm going to have to run down there and grab those in just a second. Once I get the last of these packs out of here. All right, so give me one second, guys. I got to go grab those little uh, boxes for the booklets. I'll be right back. That'll be a little better. Those booklets are otherwise kind of hard to deal with. Stanglover, your Arenado is worth about 50 bucks. Okay. Yeah. Um, I would have actually thought a little bit more than that to Jim Mint 10, but it sounds like you looked it up already. So, <coughs> so we know what's what with it. Christian Kirk, Arizona Cardinals, a Hot Routes Relic, number to 299, followed by Christian Kirk, <laughs> chipping lower right in particular. So Arizona Cardinals get another Hot Routes Relic, 
that one numbered to 99. That's got to be one of the worst examples of poor collation I've ever seen. Back to back, same team, same player, same card set. At least one's red and one's white. And this is numbered to 249, Ryan Kerrigan and the Washington Redskins. Right as Stang Lover, I look over there and he's typed in that he needs the Bengals, the Redskins, the Chargers, and the Rams. Aha. Uh -huh. Our first booklet out, number to 49, is going to be Will Greer. You can see you've got some issues there, both the top and bottom of the spine. Maybe a little bit on this left corner as well. But it looks pretty inside, doesn't it, for Will Greer and the Panthers. And let's get some of these little boxes out of there plastic here to use for our booklets. All right, and the way I'm going to do this, well, actually, you know what, maybe I should wait until after the recap, probably, to put them in the box, because you may want to see the inside again in the recap, in case somebody comes, you know, in mid-break, mid someone may jump in and then want to see it after the fact. So chipping, lower left, lower right, both upper corners, unfortunately. A sad fact of the matter is most of these cards in playbook will have some imperfections on their edges and corners. Seahawks, Wilson, Carson, DK Metcalf, Triple Relics, numbered to 99. And James Washington is out for my Pittsburgh Steelers. A Hot Routes Relic to 299. Here come the Tennessee Titans. This is one Alex Barnes. I've got to get a different sleeve for that. That's a little that's a little skinny card. I had all of our thick card sleeves out. It is numbered to 25. And I think we've got kind of uh, something cool coming right now. We have got ourselves a rookie signature locker. You can see there's a little chipping right there on that, uh, what I'm going to call the flap on the left, maybe on the right-hand side, too. This is Nikhil Harry. It's numbered to 10. Got some imperfections along that bottom edge as well. But a very cool card. Nikhil Harry and the Patriots to 10. Gotta love that one. All right, we've got ourselves Bryce Love, another red skin hit. And Bryce Love is numbered to 299. It is DJ Moore, lower right imperfection for the Carolina Panthers. That is numbered to 299. It's another hot routes relic. The Kansas City Chiefs. The Nigerian Nightmare, that is number 215, good-looking relic and autograph pairing. Our booklet is for the 49ers. It's numbered to 175. Uh, maybe some minor stuff there on the spine, but not anything too terribly out of the ordinary. And that is Mr. Nick Bosa. A man has been good this year. So if you've got the 49ers, nice hit there. With your young defensive rookie. The Pittsburgh Steelers out again. Whole bottom edge, bottom corners, top corners all have some imperfections on this one. Big Ben, James Conner, Juju Smith-Schuster, Triple Threats, Trio of Relics, numbered to 99. Here come the Bengals and Ryan Finley. Bottom right corner is particularly bad, although all the back corners and edges are imperfect. And that is numbered to 99. Another Pittsburgh Steeler, Alejandro Villanueva. Bottom right corner, that one also just outrageous. It's got a big chipped spot on it. The other's not as bad, but not perfect. And Mr. Villanueva is numbered to, what does that say? 149. I thought it said 49 at first. And we have a booklet for the Redskins who are kind of on fire tonight. It's to 199, Bryce Love. 
Same as the others, some minor stuff on your corners uh, there on the spine. And there's your Bryce Love autograph and relic for the Redskins. So I'd say Stanglover's doing pretty well in here so far. I'm looking back over his teams that he typed in. He's gotten hit for Bengals and several for his Redskins. So he's, he's headed in the right direction. And here's one for the Rams. Right out, right uh, on time, right? Tyler Rapp. That is the Rams number 225. And then here come the Chargers. This is basically a whole a whole uh, break going all towards Stang Lover, isn't it? Austin Eckler. And that is numbered to 249. Got a relic and autograph there. Here come the Raiders with Howie Long, little throwback. Nice, numbered to 60, I do believe that says. You've got your two-color relic there off to the side and another booklet for the Patriots. This is numbered to 25. You've got Damian Harris uh, on this booklet. Same as the others, some minor stuff. You can see down there on that lower left corner, a little chipping as well in the upper right. That one doesn't have any ink on it, but it is a pair of nice-looking relics regardless. The Bears and Riley Ridley. And Riley is a hot route relic to 299. There's another Pittsburgh Steeler. It's Deontay Johnson, lower right and upper right have more prominent uh, chipping than the rest of it. Hot route relic to 299. Willis McGee, that's fun for the Broncos. Autograph and relic numbered to 249. Our booklet is another San Francisco 49er. This one's Debo Samuel. It's numbered to 125, just like all the others. Some minor little things on the edges, corners, spine, etc. Um, and got a little ink there for Debo and the 49ers. We've got two left. It is another Cincinnati Bengal, Trayvon, Trayvon Williams. For the Bengals, number 275, the Eagles and Chris Long. The Eagles were really prominent in our last break. Been kind of quiet, this one up till now, to 249. Another 49er. Here comes a second Nick Bosa hit for San Francisco 49ers. That is numbered to 75. And we have ourselves a one-of-one one booklet for Mitch Trubisky and the Bears, which is fantastic, except look at that corner. Look at that bottom right corner. It is, um, it's got chipping and it's a little bit smushed up, which blows on a one-of-one one booklet. That really makes me kind of unhappy. Um, Chicago Bears, Mitch Trubisky, one-of-one one, Nike swoosh and laundry tag, right? Yeah, that is sweet. That is a sweet, sweet, sweet little one-of-one one booklet. I just wish we didn't have that ding down there. That would be my only, my only complaint. All right, last one. Last box mojo time here in Playbook. Will Greer and the Carolina Panthers, relic number 225. More Steelers. Deontay Johnson out for the Steelers, and that is numbered to 299. We got a 400 points card. I'm assuming that's probably because, I don't know, maybe because we got the 101 booklet or something. Those usually kind of correspond to big hits, but not always. Our last booklet is the Raiders and Josh Jacobs. Once again, your edges and corners with some kind of minor stuff. Number to 175, your rookie running back, Josh Jacobs for the Raiders. All right, so we're going to recap this in a minute. I'm going to get a few more of these little 
uh, boxes open because after we recap those booklets, they're going to go in these little boxes for to keep them all safe and sound. And then we have a 400 points reward card that we are going to be giving out by way of random.org. So let's actually get that done first. I'm also going to slightly tweak this back in the other direction. Yeah, I think that'll be a little bit better when we get around back around that way. But first things first, we've got 400 points to find a home for. So this is fairly easy. Uh, I'm going to copy all of the team names. Then I'm going to bring you with me. We're going to head over here to random.org. And at random.org, I'm going to paste all of these team names in there. Because we have 10 or more items in our list, this will be really easy. We're going to do random one single time. And whoever comes out on the number one position after we randomize, that team will get the 400 points. Scrolling through so you can see all the teams were correctly copied and pasted into the box. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. And it comes up to the Jets. So the New York Jets getting... The 400 points which I don't think the Jets had pulled any cards so it's you know kind of nice for them they get to at least get something to head their way now we're going to recap this break after that we'll be into triple threads baseball where we may have some teams available so if you're inclined to want to participate in triple threads hang tight i will check the status again right before we get to that one greg says it should have been a thousand points uh, well those don't come out too often that's for sure i'm just simply in our little boxes here each one of our booklets is going to go in a little box and that's probably the wrong size sleeve i'm going to put a sleeve on the bottom of each one and I'll put another one on top of the booklet. It really not, frankly, probably necessary. These little cases are fine without them, but it's just an extra step I take to make sure that the surface stays all nice for us. I'm not going to go over each and every imperfection again. If you have questions about that, please go back. If you're watching the recap and watch the full break, just understand that many or most of these cards have minor edge and corner issues, imperfections, chipping, etc. So that was Josh Jacobs for the Raiders. That is our first, where did I put the lids? Our first booklet recap. Then we have our one of one for the Bears. I do have to mention that one again because that bottom right corner is crunched up, which makes me very unhappy on a one of one booklet because it's otherwise super nice with Mitch Trubisky got the Nike swoosh in there the laundry tag it's great looking booklet and then they give it to us out of the pack with one corner smushed up San Francisco 49ers Debo Samuel and behind that we've got a Patriot coming up and our Patriot in this instance is Damian Harris. There is another Patriot booklet that we'll see shortly, but this is the first one that we come across tonight. Let's get some more. Let's get our other little boxes lined up. Yeah, I was kind of sweating it that these, because these were supposed to arrive yesterday. I knew we had the break tonight. It was kind of like, what the heck? But finally, UPS showed up with them today, so we got them just in the nick of time. It wasn't even today, it was actually tonight, but either way, they got here in time. I guess that's the important part. The Redskins have a Bryce Love booklet. And next up will be a, another 49ers booklet. This one, I think, will be the Bosa one. Yeah, a little Nick, Nick Bosa action there for the 49ers. You did well if you're San Francisco to get two Bosa hits out of this case. One the booklet and one the regular signature. This one is just all kinds of awesome. 
and that is Nikhil Harry for the Patriots. That's your rookie autograph locker numbered to 10. And we'll get him all safe and sound in his little case. Which brings us to the Carolina Panthers and Will Greer. That's our last of our booklets in our recap. Of course, we've got, whoops, got all of our regular hits still to recap. The Jets got 400 Panini Rewards Points. We used random.org to give them away. Then we've got the Pittsburgh Steelers, Carolina Panthers. There's your other Nick Bosa if you are the 49ers. And then we have Chris Long for the Eagles. The Bengals have Travion Williams. Willis McGee for the Denver Broncos. There's another Pittsburgh Steeler relic. A Bears relic. Chris Long for the, or Howie Long for the Raiders. We already saw Chris Long <laughs> earlier. Austin Eckler, Chargers, the Rams with Taylor Rapp, Pittsburgh Steelers, Alejandro Villanueva, the Bengals, and Ryan Finley. Well, Ryan's been getting kind of beat up lately. The Steelers, there's a trio of relics on that one. The Nigerian Nightmare for the Kansas City Chiefs. Carolina Panthers, the Redskins, the Tennessee Titans, Pittsburgh Steelers, the Seahawks. There are more Washington Redskins, Ryan Kerrigan, or there is, I should say, one more Washington Redskin. And then a pair of Cardinals. They are both Christian Kirk, one red relic, one white relic. Both were hot routes. All right, so let me see where things stand uh, over here on Triple Threads, guys and gals. And um, I'm going to let you... Oh, I knocked into my book, didn't I? Box, rather. I'm going to let you look once again at the shipping information while I try to determine where we are in terms of payment. And see what's going on there. Let me get, whoops, let me get you on the right page. I'm, I left you in the wrong spot, didn't I? So probably everybody's already heard me talk about this, but if anybody jumped in after the fact or whatever the case may be, please take a minute, review this information so that you're familiar with when you can expect your item to ship and how the consolation cards work and all that stuff. Let me take a little a stroll back over here to see where we sit on eBay. Um, so it looks like we have got a pair of teams right now in Tops Triple Threads. Um, and Greg, they are actually your teams, it appears, uh, that are not paid here in Tops Triple Threads. So I normally just look at the team, but I happen to glance up there and see that that is you by that. So what have we got going on there, Greg? Uh, the A's and the Royals, are you... Keeping them, not keeping them. Um, what's the situation here before we get into this triple threads break? All right, let's bring you back to me for a minute. And let me do a little updating here. It might be that you've got an e-check or something in. I don't know, because normally, um, you know, you would you would have your stuff buttoned up. So uh, maybe something like that happened. I don't know. I know you were sending me a message, or you sent me a message that I replied to right before the break, but it didn't uh, reference that. So I don't know if you sent one after the break started. You may have. I don't know. Uh, but if you can kind of update me there, I would... Appreciate it, so I know what to do here. If you're keeping the teams, not keeping the teams, uh, what's your what's your sitch? 
All right, so um, our paid shipping breaks tonight, once again, should be out the door and on the way to you approximately Saturday. That's Best of Baseball Playbook, which we've just completed, Triple Threads, which we're about to embark upon. And if you got skunked in any of those paid shipping breaks, meaning you did not hit a single card of any sort, base or otherwise, you still are entitled to Constellation Carter cards, and they will head your way uh, when the rest of the break ships out. The jerseys will be on the way if you hit one no later than Tuesday, the 3rd of December, which is a week from today. And if you didn't hit one, your Constellation card or card typically is going to be held until your next package ships. Unless you hit me up, send me a message, let me know that you want it sooner, in which case I will gladly take care of it. And I'm... Um, Okay, so so Greg, well, I mean, I didn't, obviously, you must have sent the message after the break started, so can you tell me what your situation is? Do I need to sell the teams, or, or, or is, are, you, are you in for the teams? Is there, I mean, I don't kind of know what's going on with it, so if you could let me know, I would appreciate it, so we know how to proceed here. So this is going to be a nine-box case of Triple Threads Baseball. It's an inner case break. This is break number four. And, of course, it also ended tonight on eBay Tuesday night, the 26th of November. We've got team names there on the left-hand side, our winning bidders across from each team on the opposite side. Um, and what else? What else? We've got the two in here that we just uh, figured out uh, belong to Greg. And um, all righty. I guess he's saying he is going to keep them. So, of course, you guys all know that normally if I do not have payment prior to the start of the break, your teams are going to be sold. That is the way we do it, whether I know you, whether I don't, because uh, I've just had way too many problems in the past with people not paying, especially it seems like people that I know. I don't know why, especially so, maybe because I tend to let those go more often. But anyway, we're going to, Greg's here and he says he's going to get it taken care of, so we're going to... Let it ride tonight, but um, normally, guys and gals, that would not be the case typically. Typically, it's going to be gone, gone, gone if it's not paid before the break starts. So please keep that in mind when you are bidding. So in our triple threads, this is another break that has, I mean, a forest worth of packaging in it. We've got two mini boxes per master box. So the first thing I'm going to do here is extract each of our mini boxes and get them on the way. Each one of our mini boxes has an autograph and a relic card in it. I think it usually says, you know, on average or whatever, you know how they are with that, but... We've yet to find one that doesn't have what it's supposed to have in triple threads. So I think we can kind of plan on there being one autograph and one relic card there um, in triple threads. Hi, Andrew. You are heading out. Yeah, I will get the video posted shortly after the break is over. It's actually kind of a, a there's a two different ways to watch it. So YouTube archives a version of the break, which is, you know, it is, of course, the break, but it just doesn't have tags or titles or anything like that. But that one is usually available pretty quickly after the break ends. I'm told sometimes as little as uh, maybe 30 minutes after a break ends or 45 if it's a long one, something like that. Uh, otherwise, I will post or upload the recorded version I always say within 24 hours but realistically I generally do it the night of the break unless I'm having some kind of internet problems or unless the break goes really really late well that is so much for my idea of keeping empty boxes back there instead of full ones because that empty one fell all over the place last night so I moved it thinking it wouldn't fall over in the other place. And as you see, it's falling over all night tonight too. So, so Andrew, yeah, the YouTube version, you should definitely be able to watch, I would say conservatively within an hour or so after the break is ended. And the uploaded version probably within a few hours. 
the only difference being that I add the tags and the titles. All right, let's see what we've got here in triple threads. Well, I mean, I'll take all the packs out, I guess. We, that's the way we usually do it, so may as well do the same thing tonight, I suppose. There's always fun stuff in here, though. I love this product. There's some really nice stuff that you can find in this every single year without fail. There's always great stuff in triple threads. You've got the Yankees, the Mariners, the Blue Jays, and the Angels. All right, man. We're going to uh, do our best to find you some awesome Yankees, Mariners, Blue Jays, and Angels. And everybody else, too, of course. We're going to try to find some good cards for everybody tonight. Everybody happy. I know, there's a lot of packaging, but once we get through this part, which is the long, boring part, um, then the rest of it is all fun because then we can just rip, rip, rip right through our packs. So we get all the delayed gratification out of the way right up front. Almost there, almost there. Even, the, even though these are only one pack per box, I'm just always in the habit of showing you guys what the empty box looks like so that everybody knows uh, that everything's out of there. I just have it. All right. Let's get a few more little sleeves on the table, and we are going to dig in. So triple threads, I think this might be the this might be the last of my triple threads. I'll have to double check, but I think it might be the last of it. I've been cutting a path through some of this stuff lately. So we're gonna have some base cards and a lot of them will be parallels. Not all of them, but well, a couple per pack usually are. We'll say it like that. So the first one outs to 299. There is Mr. Hank Aaron for the Braves. The second one is to 199. That's Roberto Alomar, and that is the Baltimore Orioles. Then we have our regular base, which is not numbered, and obviously, you know, we don't have any color variation in it either. And we have the Reds, the Royals, and the Yankees with the Babe for our base cards. First hit that we see is Shohei Otani. For the Angels, Future Phenoms, and it is autographed, and right away, Andrew has kind of struck gold there, hitting Shohei Otani to 35 with the very first card that we see. So, Andrew's going to be happy if he's still here, or uh, when he sees the replay, one or the other. For the Indians, it is Jose Ramirez. And that one is number 236. Go ahead and get our parallels pulled forward. You've got the Indians numbered to 199 with Jose Ramirez. And then numbered to 299, it is Juan Soto for the Nationals. Our regular base, it's Ichiro 
for the Mariners, Buster Posey for the Giants, and then the Orioles again with Roberto Alomar. We've got a nice little triple relic card here, and it is Josh Hader, Zach Davies, and Brandon Woodruff, all the Brewers, and it is number 218. I don't know why I can't quite get this focus exactly where, where I want it to be tonight. I keep trying to like tweak it and for some reason, you know, some nights it sets and it's just like brilliant and other nights it seems like it's always just slightly not where I want it to be. For the Yankees, it is CC Sabathia with your relic and autograph for the Yankees and it is numbered 275 for New York. Got Josh Bell to 299 for the Pirates and, and Jackie Robinson to 199 for the Dodgers. The base are the Rangers, the Indians, and the Rangers again with Nolan Ryan. First hit out Texas Rangers with Mazzara. Oh, hit the cord with Mazzara and a relic. Yeah, when you hit the cord, guess what? It tips over the uh, tripod yeah I caught it that time though so that's the good news for the twins you have Max Kepler Max is numbered to 75 as well relic and autograph Number to 299, there's Thor, Noah Syndergaard for the Mets, and to 199, Josh Hader for the Brewers. Our base cards, Big Poppy for the Red Sox, Reese Hoskins for the Phillies, Garrett Cole for the Astros. And then you have Daniel Ponce de Leon, little rookie hit coming out there for the Cardinals. It is numbered to 75, got your relics and autographs paired together. And a Yankees relic, CC Sabathia. Got his autograph on the other relic, or on the other card, and a nice looking relic here. And it should be because it's numbered to five. So that's why that's why it's a nice looking relic. Or I'm sorry, it's numbered to three. I looked at that and thought it said five. It says three. I'm blind. Blind, I tell you. To 199, that's Clayton Kershaw for the Dodgers. And to 299, George uh, Springer and the Astros. Or to 259, rather. The green are to 259. It's the purple that are 299. J.D. Martinez and the Red Sox. Roger Clemens for the Yankees. And Jim Tomei for the Phillies. Those are our three base cards. We have a redemption. And it is going to hang out right up here. We'll flip it over at the end of the break, find out who's on the other side, and then go to the TOPS website to get it verified. For the Pittsburgh Pirates, it is Gregory Polanco, and that is numbered to 36. This one feels really thick. So we've got some kind of super jazzed up relic in here, maybe. We'll see. Todd Helton, the 259 Colorado Rockies to 299 Ichiro and the Mariners. Here come our base cards. That's K-Line for the Tigers, Wade Boggs, Red Sox, Willie Mays, San Francisco Giants. The Red Sox, it is Johnny Damon. Autograph and relic numbered to 18. A little Johnny Damon action. And also for the Red Sox, you've got Xander Bogarts with a relic numbered to 36 or 7. What does that say? 36. I should have known that. All right, Ken Griffey Jr., that is Mariners, numbered to 299. Behind it, Bryce Harper, that one numbered to 50. 
for the Phillies. So that's our lowest numbered base parallel that we've seen so far tonight. Then we've got a base for the Cubbies and the Cardinals and the Braves. San Diego Padres are hitting Joey Lucchese. And Joey has a nice looking group of relics there, numbered to 27. Philadelphia Phillies, Nick Williams. Autograph relic pairing, and it is numbered to 99 for Philadelphia Phillies. Numbered to 99, that is Willie Mays and the San Francisco Giants. Actually, that Clayton Kershaw a minute ago was to 99 as well. I think I called him to 199 verbally, but he's not. He's to 99, so is the Willie Mays. Those are the only two we've seen so far that are to 99. The others are 199. There's Manny Machado and the Padres, numbered to 259. Our base cards are going to the Mets and the Braves and the Cardinals. 2019 rookie, it is Colby. Colby comes out of everything, doesn't he? He is the Atlanta Braves. It is number 275. Milwaukee Brewers, you've got a Zach Davies relic. Nice little pinstripe on it, and it is numbered to nine. Green to 259, Roberto Alomar, and Juan Soto to 299. We have got base cards here for the Orioles and the A's and the Astros. A hit for the Dodgers with Cody Bellinger. Cody has a nice little set of relics there, and that is numbered to three, so it should be a pretty nice little set of relics. Yeah, I know Johnny Colby hasn't been a Brave for a long time, but he's uh, still in all the products as Braves. They will eventually catch up with that trade, but yeah, he's been, he was traded quite a while back. But, of course, it always is going to go to the team on the card when there's a team shown. So, the Indians and Corey Kluber, very nice, with your ace from the Indians numbered to 50. Yeah, they print so many of these cards way in advance, especially the ones that are going to be signed or have relics, that a lot of times it takes them a while to get caught up. Numbered to 75, there is an Alex Bregman for the Astros. And then behind that, to 199, you've got Reggie Jackson for the Yankees. We have base for the Yankees, the Cubs, and the Dodgers. A hit for the Yankees brings us Dellen Bettences with relics numbered to 36. Which means by default, our autograph is headed to the Minnesota Twins. It is your rookie, Willens. And I never say his last name correctly, so we'll just leave it with Willens. And that one is numbered to 50. Number to 299, Mookie Betts, or 259 rather. Mookie Betts and the Red Sox to 299 is Willie Stargell and the Pirates. Base for the Cincinnati Reds and the Indians. Trevor Bauer is still uh, an Indian on the card there. I'll flip it over on the back so that you can see that that is the case. And then the New York Yankees. We have a hit coming for the Astros. That is one Jose Altuve. And that is a set of relics numbered to 36. We've got a second redemption heading up here into housekeeping. Some of these breaks we've got, we've had a lot of redemptions. So tonight we've only had two so far. We'll see how the rest of our packs go. But some of these breaks we've had six or so redemptions. It's been kind of crazy this year. 
to 259 that's Chris Bryant and the Cubs to 299 Jacob deGrom and the Mets base cards for Rockies and Brewers and White Sox the Detroit Tigers and you have a trio of relics nice looking relics from the all-star game I guess and it is numbered to nine so not too bad there if you've got the Detroit Tigers Gina you just got home did you win any Dolphins in the jerseys oh all the jerseys were paid so you must not have oh but you said you've had a crappy day I'm sorry man I'm sorry you've had a crappy day Gina what happened Tell us what happened. Well, you don't have to, but if you want to, we'll sympathize with you if you if you so choose. It says Jordan Hicks and the Cardinals. That is numbered to 99. Then numbered to 50. That is Chris Davis. That's another Oakland A's. I'm sorry, to 99. The 99 and 50 look almost the same with the color at the bottom, and I just caught that one wrong. It is numbered to 99. To 259, Francisco Lindor and the Indians. We have got base for the Giants, the Twins, and the Diamondbacks. Here comes a hit for the Cubs. You've got Wilson Contreras. With a group of relics, numbered 227. And the St. Louis Cardinals are going to have an autograph on the other side of this. Miles Michaelis, auto relic, numbered to 99. Oh, that's really low numbered. Ricky Henderson to 25 for the Oakland A's. And then number to 199, it's Eddie Rosario for the Twins. We've got some base cards for the Braves and the A's and the White Sox. A hit is coming up for Tyler O'Neill. And Tyler O'Neill is numbered to 99. That's St. Louis Cardinals, if I didn't say that already. The Angels and Albert Pujols. Relic, number 227. Ah, uh, you're just having one of those days. I tell you what, I've been having a lot of those lately. <laughs> I can sympathize with that. Uh, number 259, David Ortiz, Big Poppy and the Red Sox. Number 299, Verlander and the Astros. Oh, it was good, Gina. Thank you also for asking about my visit. Uh, the visit with the fam was very nice. They uh, left late Monday afternoon, and I had to get back to reality. But, yeah, it was good. We had a nice time. The Padres and Manny Machado, Todd Helton and the Rockies, Eddie Rosario and the Twins, our base cards. The Rangers with Sen Su Chu. Autograph and Relic. It is number 218. And the Detroit Tigers have a Relic for Miggy. And that's number 36. That's a really thick one. We've got two really thick ones. Actually, all three of these are pretty thick, these last ones. One of them is probably going to be a booklet. Maybe more than one. I don't know. But... It feels like it should be. Whether or not it will be, I guess, is another story now, isn't it? That is Alex Bregman for the Astros. Alex is numbered to 99. To 259, it's Aaron Judge and the Yankees. Base cards for Mark McGuire. As an athletic, Oakland A's, Verlander for the Astros, Thor for the Mets, our base cards. The Philadelphia Phillies have Reese Hoskins, Relic number 236. 
And here come the Tampa Bay Rays finally making an appearance. And that is Austin Meadows Auto Relic pairing numbered to 50. Next to last, we do still have redemptions though, don't forget. So we'll have two hits still waiting even after the end. And that is one Babe Ruth for the New York Yankees, numbered to 99 to 259 Reese Hoskins and the Phillies. We have got base for the Nationals, the Astros, and the Tampa Bay Rays. And this is Kyle Wright for the Atlanta Braves. Kyle is numbered to 99. We're going to have an extra hit in this package. That's why this one was so thick. We got three hits in here. Yay. Juan Soto, future phenom for the Nationals. <laughs> oh, 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 and it's a one of one on top of that. A one of one Juan Soto autograph relic pairing for the Nats. So, um, yeah, right? <laughs> uh, Seth, we've already done Leaf Best of Baseball, my friend. You missed that one, it sounds like. I'm sorry. That was actually earlier tonight. This is our last break of the night. The good news is, since we're almost done, the video will be up fairly shortly. Mookie Betts and the Red Sox with a relic, numbered 227. Yeah, that Juan Soto, that is, you know... <laughs> It's too bad at that one now, the last pack, because you know we like to do last box and last pack mojo, and that would definitely have been a last box, last pack mojo kind of hit. That was phenomenal for Juan Soto. And it was our pack that had three hits in it. That's why it felt extra thick. Holiday to 259. That's the Blue Jays. Then numbered to 299, you have Mark McGuire for the A's. We've got Yankees and Astros and Nationals as our base cards. My Cincinnati Reds held on to last box mojo and come out with a Scooter Jeanette, number to nine. Of course, Scooter's no longer Cincinnati Red either, but he's red on that card, and that's what matters. And Detroit Tigers with a Miggy Relic are our last, is our last live card, numbered to 18. We do still have a pair of redemptions, however, and we're getting ready to flip those over before we do our recap here. So if you bear with me for one minute, we will let me get those, let me get our recap sort of set up here, and then we'll flip these over and see what's what. Oh, Jordy, that was your Juan Soto one of one. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, okay, well, congrats on that. Or I'm assuming it's yours. It might not be, but it it seems like it might be. I'm not sure. Christian Yelich, Triple Threads, Autograph, Single, Jumbo, Relic, Emerald, Parallel. Christian Yelich, of course, is the Brewers, but as we always do, we will go to the checklist and get it verified. I mean, there's always a possibility you could slide in there as a Marlin or something, but I've yet to see him as a Marlin and Triple Threads, so... I feel safe in saying he's going to be a brewer. This I apparently have in there upside down. Let's flip it over and take another look. It's Glaber Torres for the Yankees. It is base rookie future phenom autograph relic card onyx parallel for the Yankees. But again, we'll, we'll head over here and see if we can't locate that on, on our little uh, tops website here let's get you over here with me and then find our checklist for triple threads there we go all right so we need to go down to well we should find glaber here which there he is glaber torres new york yankees right where we expected to see him now we've got to look for Mr. Christian Yelich so that we can verify that he is in fact a brewer. 
I absolutely hate the way they do these on on uh, tops. I like the way the checklist is set up on Panini's website so much better. Oh, where are you? Uh, it's not a booklet, so we don't want to stop there. He's not a 50 years of baseball. Where are you, buddy? Here. Should be in here, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Christian Yelich, Milwaukee Brewers. Okay, so just just pretty much exactly what we expected. Oh, that wasn't your Nationals card. You just like it a lot. <laughs> All right, man. I like it a lot, too. It is really nice. So, yeah, I agree with you. I, I'm kind of jamming on it myself. All right, let's do a little recapping. Our low-numbered cards, we'll start with them first. The lowest in the break is this number to, well, that is not autographed or a relic, is numbered to 25. It's Ricky Henderson for the Oakland A's. Behind that, numbered 250, you have a Bryce Harper for the Nationals. And then numbered to 75, Alex Bregman for the Astros. Everything else is numbered to 99 or higher, so we won't recap the remaining stuff, just that low-numbered stuff. We had a pair of redemptions, Glaber Torres for the Yankees, Christian Yelich for the Brewers, both of which we just verified there on the Topps website, so we know we got them right. All right. Um, Jose Altuve and the Houston Astros, Willens for the Twins. The New York Yankees and Dylan Bettences, Corey Kluber for the Cleveland Indians, Cody Bellinger for the Dodgers, the Milwaukee Brewers and Zach Davies, Colby Allard, Allard, whichever way it is, for the Braves. My Cincinnati Reds managed to squeak out one hit in here. That would be Scooter Jeanette. Um, yes, Seth, did you, you did, did you not hear me say that earlier? Um, the Leaf Best of Baseball has already been done tonight. Maybe you had, I don't know, he could have the volume down. Can somebody maybe type that in in case he does? Because it sounds like he didn't, um, catch that earlier. So if one of you would be so kind as to type it in, in case he, uh, has the volume down, I would appreciate it. So he knows it's already been done. A Juan Soto, one of one for the Nationals, trio of relic, autograph, wood parallel, future phenom, Nationals, fantastic hit. Love it, love it, love it. You're going to make uh, some money on that one if you choose to sell it. Kyle Wright in the Atlanta Braves, the Tigers, and Miguel Cabrera, the Rangers, Sensu Chu, Tyler O'Neill for the Cardinals. Miles Michaelis for the Cardinals. The Chicago Cubs and Contreras. Jordan Hicks and the Cardinals. The Detroit Tigers and Joe Jimenez. Polanco for the Pirates. Thank you for typing that in, Jordy. I appreciate it. Oh, and then I looked up there and saw that Seth did hear me. Okay, cool. <laughs> sometimes people have the volume down if they're at work, or sometimes people just don't want to listen. They just want to watch, and that's cool, too. But then when I answer, they might not know it if one of you guys didn't type it in. The Yankees and CC Sabathia. So we always try to cover the bases there. Daniel Ponce de Leon for the Cardinals. And the Twins with Max Kepler. So, yes, yeah, Seth, I'll get that up, uh, uploaded fairly shortly. I would say within an hour or two, you should be able to watch the watch the break, maybe sooner on the YouTube version. Miguel Cabrera and the Tigers. For the Rangers, Mazzara. The Yankees with Sabathia. A trio of relics for the Brewers. The Indians with Jose Ramirez. The Red Sox and Mookie Betts. Austin Meadows and the Tampa Bay Rays. The Phillies with Reese Hoskins. The Angels with Albert Pujols. Phillies again, Nick Williams. Padres with Joey Lucchese. 
Xander Bogarts and the Red Sox. Johnny Damon and the Red Sox. And the one that got us started off tonight's a nice one indeed. Mr. Shohei Otani, numbered 35 for the Angels. So all in all, um, yeah, I think that was a pretty good case. I'm fairly happy with what we hit in there. So hopefully everybody got something they want out of there. And let's go ahead and do uh, our information recap for anybody who missed it earlier, getting ready to show you when you can expect your item to ship, what's coming up in the days ahead, and all that fun stuff. So, um, the football jerseys, if you hit one of those out the door and on the way to you no later than a week from today, which would make it Tuesday, December the 3rd, believe it or not, if you didn't hit a jersey in that break, your consolation card or cards typically will be held and shipped with your next package. If you want it sent sooner, hit me up and let me know. I will gladly take care of it for you. Paid shipping breaks tonight. That's the ones we just, uh, Triple Threads, Playbook, and Leaf Best of Baseball, all of which we've completed now. Should be out the door and on the way approximately Saturday. As always, if I can get something out sooner than the date you see there, I will gladly do so. If something unexpected happens, could be a day later. If you got skunked in one of those breaks, meaning you did not hit a card of any sort, base or otherwise, you will still be entitled to a consolation card or cards, and that one will ship out when the rest of the break goes, since it is a paid shipping break. And please remember, of course, Thursday, Thanksgiving, everybody probably does remember, but there's no mail service on Thursday, delivery or pickup. So tomorrow night, Wednesday night, is actually going to be an off night, kind of by accident, but anyway, it will be. And we'll, we'll make up for it on Thanksgiving night. We'll do a break of full-size football helmets by the full case, and then we'll also do some heritage high number baseball by the half case. On Friday, we're going to do Absolute Basketball, our new release. We'll do a full case of it. On Saturday, we're going to break Flawless Baseball Half Case. It is a loose box from Shared Case. And we'll do a full case of Immaculate Football. On Sunday, it'll be a half case of Leaf Autograph Mini Football Helmets. A half case of Gold Label Baseball. Those are also loose boxes from a Shared Case. And Dynasty Baseball. It is a five box break, which is a case quantity. But they are loose boxes in a case quantity. And that, I believe, is all the news to use for tonight. As always, appreciate you being here, bidding, breaking, chatting, hanging out with me. And uh, hopefully I'll see you again soon on another break. But if I do not see you on Thanksgiving, have a happy holiday, a good Thanksgiving. And uh, come back and see me again sometime soon if I don't catch you then. Until next time, bye now.